Who is this? What Mario is Lopez, I know that. It was a show oh, in my. the 90s. Oh God. Zach Morris. Ring any bells? Ring any bells? What's that mean? Is that? That was a subtle hint. What is up, Bolt fam? My name's Chase Daniel, the host of Takeout, presented by the Southern California BMW Centers. And today, I'm telling you what, we got a good one. We got the Brisket Boys joining us. Today's featured car, the new BMW M440i xDrive. Go test one out for yourself today at the Southern California BMW Centers. Let's get it going. I like the BMW Q cards, it's pretty sweet. Do we need clap? Are we rolling? Go and roll it. <laughs> I go ahead and roll it. Are we rolling? I go ahead and roll it. We are rolling. All right, now go, okay, go ahead and roll it. All right, guys, so tell me a little bit about the food that you picked, the name of the restaurant, and why you picked it. Well, we went with Nate's Corner, a local classic, one of our favorites. We've been going there ever since we got here and never disappoints. I've never had it, but it sounds good. I've heard you talk about it. What'd you guys go with? Let's just go ahead and just open them up. Oh, nothing for me, <laughs> just you. What'd you guys go with? Let's unwrap it. Well, I went with a Reuben. Mm. Oh, you can't go wrong with a Reuben. I went with three meat, <laughs> three egg. <laughs> Yours is huge. Oh my gosh, you got a little tapatio on the side there. The Reuben, the Reuben's a classic though. Can't go wrong with it. Old Thousand Island dressing. That's mm. awesome. Give it one of those. Look at this beast. So you guys are my first guests on this show. Thank you guys for taking your time out of your, you know, really incredibly busy schedule. Tuesday's the day off. I know we've been grinding. Gabe, you've been just waiting for this show. Um, <laughs> So let's just let's just go ahead and just start with the brisket a little bit. I know you guys have all been interviewed about it, but we're going to go a little bit of a different way. Uh, brisket's very important to this team's DNA. Can you tell us a little bit about the credit that's been given to the brisket for the success and sort of how it started and how it went from there? Whose idea it was is what I want to hear. There's just so many words. I'll try and answer it the best you can. I think it all started with Justin and Traeger. When he first got it, he got a really big shipment of all these different types of meat and brisket was one of them. Fast forward after he got really good at cooking. And then I think just after one of the wins, it was just like, this isn't any brisket. It's a victory <laughs> brisket. <laughs> and so that's where it went from there. And it just kind of like took off. Why brisket though, Justin? Like why not ribs or steaks? Cause I've had a, a, one of your Traeger steaks before. And I will say it's, it's delicious. I appreciate that. Yeah. But why, like why the brisket? It's, it is a little bit harder to cook, right? So mm -hmm. it's more of a challenge. At the time, Gabe and I were, we were all living together and we looked in the freezer and there was a brisket and it just kind of happened and, and we gave the name to it and it, it really did kind of start out as a joke a little bit. We weren't really trying to be serious about it, but it kind of developed and people started coming over and eating it and it well, was I mean, funny. Yeah, I think if anyone knows you, and if you don't, like Justin's super competitive. I've been in on, you know, Tuesday mornings in here and he's like really pissed off about how his brisket tastes. They did, you know, you guys did brisket tacos, but I think you're perfecting it, right? It's, it's coming along. It's a work in progress. Yeah. yeah, we've had some good ones and some bad ones, but we want to, we don't want to divulge the technique that he uses, but we'll just leave it there. So last question on the brisket promise. What's next for you guys in the brisket? Should we expect merchandise? Maybe a TV show led by me? I mean, these tuxedo shirts are excellent. I don't know if that would make it, but what do you, what's next for the brisket? Just keep rolling. I have no idea. We've created a monster. Spices? Yeah, I don't know. We've, we've kind of started switching up a little bit, but I guess that's one of those things that we have to figure out because we got to deliver. I mean, we've backed it up. We've hyped it up. And the people love it. The people love it, and I feel like somebody yeah. could make a killing off of brisket boys t-shirts. All right, so <laughs> moving on. So you already mentioned that you guys used to be roommates. Um, so I have to ask Gabe, you first, what was that like? And then describe a perfect, perfect night in the Herbert and neighbors. And Gillum. Household. Household. Uh, it was kind of like being in college, actually. It was like kind of nice being a rookie and then transitioning over to the NFL, like still having guys to hang out with when you're away from the facility, away from the game kind of helps get your mind off of it. And I think the most important thing was just be able to lock in when it's game time and then get away from the game when it's time for that too. It was a big deal. And then honestly, I don't remember the second thing you asked me. What's it like? <laughs> what's it What's it like on a perfect night in the household that you guys lived in? We're cooking like a three course meal and then like smooth, or what was it ice cream? Oh nights. yeah. We'd have ice cream night. Oh, uh, ice cream. Tell me about ice cream night. Gabe, Gabe's honestly the better cook. 
Okay. What like what do you what do you? I'm cooking? a sous chef. He can okay. do he can do it all. He, it starts with breakfast burritos and it ends with like Chinese food, and he's been able to handle it all. And wow, Chinese food. We have yet to come across a restaurant food coming. Yeah. Well, tell me more about this ice cream night because I'm a big ice cream connoisseur. Just throw like the most random things in a blender. Yeah, whatever we had in the. So it was mostly shakes. It was ba it was basically yeah it was always yeah. milkshakes and we'd find Oreos, oh. cookies like whatever. Kit Kats, Twix, yeah. whatever. That's amazing. What, what was it? What was it like living with this guy? It was a great roommate. He was very clean, very neat. Oh, that's the number one thing for me for a roommate, cleanliness. I like things a certain way. Cleanliness, but... And yeah. Gabe was always a great job picking up after himself, always taking out the trash and, and doing things that I didn't have to ask him to, so... I love that. All right, so Gabe, if you could change one thing about Justin, what would it be? One um, thing. Don't hold back. One thing. I don't know. <laughs> It's okay. Am like I crossing any boundaries here? I can handle it. I have no idea. <laughs> Justin, what the about you? The kid is too good at everything. Oh, okay. Ping pong, golf. He is really good at ping pong. I mean, the only thing that to this date I'm better than ha him at is rock band. Call of Duty. Gu guitar Hero, Call of Duty. Video Call games. Of Duty. Some video games, not yeah. Madden or anything like that. Blocking. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Blocking. Route running. All right, what about you, Justin? What would be one thing if you could change about, about game? What would you do? Um, That's a good question. A hard one. I wouldn't, first I really wouldn't change anything about you. I think there are always things we, we could work on, you know? <laughs> I love it. What, and, and that would be? I think uh. when, when we're golfing in nice settings. Oh, oh gosh. We oh. have to be more careful about where we hit the ball. Oh, <laughs> is it how he dresses or how he plays? Uh, no, he's always the sharpest okay. dressed man on the course. Are you serious? At, question. at any time. No, but my favorite story is we're, we're golfing at this one course and there was a road on the left. It was a busy street <laughs> and Gabe, you're good. You've become a much better golfer. Like he gave put one really far left. Yeah. The entire time I was just thinking, oh gosh, someone's gonna get hit in the head. A car's gonna break. Somebody's like, done the for. Window's done. That's Luckily, it took like five bounces and ended up in a parking lot. We're gonna switch gears. All right. We know you guys are movie buffs, especially you. You're a big movie court guy. We're gonna get to that later. But favorite movie for you? Okay. Inception. Every day of the week. <laughs> what? What's so funny about that? <laughs> What about favorite actor? Uh, Tom Hardy is up there. Okay. What about you? Favorite movie? Um, Interstellar. Oh, that's a good one. But my, I think my favorite actor would Christian Bale. Ooh, Big Batman. Okay. Batman. The Prestige. Mm. Directors. Anyone got favorite directors? Christopher Nolan. Yep. Oh, the Batman. Solid. Great. That's awesome. All right. So rank these. This is awesome. You guys can work together on this. Rank these five comedies from best to worst. Okay. Wedding Crashers. Old School, Step Brothers, 40 Year Old Virgin, and Super Bad. I'm gonna do my best, best to remember to all worst. five. So it's Wedding Crashers, Old School, Step Brothers, 40 Year Old Virgin, and Super Bad. I've probably seen Step Brothers 400 times, yeah. yeah. That's gotta be number one. That's like easily one of the most quotable movies yes. of all time. I, I think doubt. Super Bad's really funny. Okay. Super Bad yeah. 2, we got Step Brothers 1. So we have Wedding Crashers, Old School, 40 Year Old Virgin. I think Wedding Crashers takes a certain kind of. I like, like Wedding Crashers. There's a lot of like sarcasm. Yeah, I'm good with that. Wedding Crashers three. Okay, we got we got Step Brothers, Super Bad, Wedding Crashers. Now old, old school. school. Yeah, I'd say old school. Yeah. And then forty year old version. Yeah. I like it. All right, since you all like movies, we got a game. First game. Name that movie quote. Justin's probably gonna be pretty good at this. All right. You shut your mouth when you're talking to me. Oh gosh, I say this all the time, but I don't. <laughs> shut <laughs> your, you mouth. your mouth when you're talking, you're talking to me. Oh my gosh. Um, uh, next one, next one. No, well, if no. you need a hint, it was in the five we just said. Oh, oh you shut your mouth when you're talking to me, yeah. Step Brothers. Nope. Wedding Crasher. Yes. Ding, 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 ding. All right. Good effort. Shut your loser. Do not go gently into that good night. Um, the, fr the, the gray? Do not go gently into that good night. You know? Interstellar. What about you, fair movie? Interstellar. <laughs> that's not good. You don't even know your own favorite this, movie? This is... <laughs> that's weird. I don't remember that one. All right, this one's easy. You had me at hello. I feel like football you're movie. I feel like you're throwing this off. You had me at hello. Yeah, maybe the way you're saying them. Like, maybe that's my plan. Um, football movie, think Arizona Cardinals. The game plan? Think about <laughs> Tom, Tom Cruise. With the Rock? Tom Cruise. <clears throat> uh, uh, Jerry Maguire. Mission Impossible. 
<laughs> Good. Sports movie, Arizona Cardinals. Yep. Uh, okay, and I will have my vengeance in this life or next. This is a great movie. Harry Potter. No. Sorcerer's Stone. <laughs> Sorcerer's Stone. And I will have my vengeance in this life or next. Austin Powers. Gladiator. <laughs> All right, you guys were about 40% on those. All right, so this is the last game. We'll let you guys get out of here. You guys, are, well, you got some work to do on your food. But um, Game two, are you a Zoomer? Okay, I'm going to show you some pictures. Okay, you guys tell me who it is or what it is. You guys ready for it? Yeah, the instructions are a little unclear, but... Point of Zoom? Are you a Zoomer? Meaning, who is this? What Mario is that? Lopez, I know that. Yes. Okay. It was a show in oh, the man. 90s. Tiffany Amber Thiessen, I believe, is in there as well. Yep. Oh, God. Zach Morris. Ring any bells? Ring any bells? What's that mean? Is that? That was a subtle hint. Saved yeah. by the bell? There we go. Good nice. Uh, it's right. more this, your era. But. Yeah, it means I'm older than you guys, and you guys are young, and these are sort of my. Zoomer. Yeah. Slinky. That's easy. That was way too easy. Next. Walkman. Did you know that? Walk and talk. <laughs> okay. This is funny. Not everybody had iPods. Pop it. Dude, Twist Gabe it. is healing this. Pull it. Did you know? I? Yeah, but that's like a... That's like the platinum level. Pop it. Yeah, that's an upgrade. Turn it. Spin it. I don't know. When they add that. Last one. <laughs> Do you know it? <laughs> what do you think? Do you know is? what that is? No, I mean. That's a, what's it called? A what's it called? That's a, uh, it's like on the same level as a. Nintendo like DS. a pager type deal. Yeah. It's a, yep. Uh, yep. all pencil, uh, I mean, it's obsolete technology. Starts with a PP. It's a. <laughs> what? <laughs> Starts with a PMP. Oh. Uh, it's two words. Oh, okay, okay. PMP. Portable. Palm Pilot. Palm pilot. All right. You guys are pretty Palm good. Pilot. Appreciate you guys being on here. You finished all your food. That's awesome. See you next time. If you want to see more content like this, check out the link right here.